Yeah, and at minus 15 seconds is uh, the first control ignition at about 20% of the total thrust. And then there's a second uh, minus 7 seconds, uh, intermediate pressure check. There you see the arms falling away. That's, an, that's always an exciting thing for me to see the arms fall away. And then at minus 3 seconds, the order is given for the third and final phase, full throttle. The DDO is going to call out the final countdown. We'll be back after Soyuz has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. And we are underway. Soya is lifting off perfectly once again from French Guiana, beginning her 13th mission from the spaceport. Sylvain, what went through your mind as you watched uh, lift off? It's, it's very thrilling, as always. <laughs> it's a very nice. Uh, very nice thing to see. Quite impressive. No matter how many times you see it, yeah, it's always the same thing. Yes. Beautiful. 300 tons at liftoff, <clears throat> roaring through the sky. That's less than half the mass of Ariane 5, you recall. Those of you familiar with the Ariane 5 launches, excuse me, saw Soyuz rise a lot more quickly. The boosters and the central core, or the second stage, are burning now. The boosters. Yeah, the boosters, they, they weigh um, 45 tons each at liftoff. Total mass is, uh, of the first stage is 178 tons. So the engines run on liquid oxygen and kerosene, as we said, yeah. The same propellants which are used for each of the, the three lower stages. The second, or the core stage, is similar to the boosters. Its ignition occurred on the pad, as you saw. This stage will burn for about four minutes. We're coming up on separation of the boosters in just about 10 seconds. And then you'll see, remember, Soya is lifted off. The DDO is saying everything is nominal, normal on board. We're going to see separation of the boosters in just a minute on the simulation there. There it is, right, right on time. Now, remember, Soya's weighed 300 tons at liftoff. After separation of the boosters, there's the onboard camera showing them falling away into the ocean. She's down now to ha Extension how much? What does she weigh now after the boosters? Uh, less than half its weight. Less than half, yeah. yeah I think it's 135 tons, roughly. Yeah, something like that, yes. <coughs> All right, Soyuz, remembers complementary, not a competitor, to Ariane 5. She's lifting two satellites, total payload weighing about a ton and a half uh, mm. this morning, while Ariane 5 can lift, of course, 10 tons. Uh, all, there, there's, there are many differences, though. The f boosters are the first stage. That's one of the differences. Yes, uh, yes. <coughs> Coming up to the jettison of the fairing, that's in just under a minute. And you'll see Patrick Loire, head of Ariane Space uh, Facilities here in Kourou, giving us a thumbs up because all is going well with Soyuz. She uh, departed right on time. Soyuz you know, it uh, goes back to the first days of the space race. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. She was, uh, she goes back to 1966, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, the workhorse of the Soviet program yeah. and continues working. Very well indeed, yeah. It's very reliable, efficient, flexible. And cost effective. Also, yes, yeah. I believe, yeah. And uh, which makes uh, Soyuz good for any kind of mission. I think Soyuz has done every mission possible from telecoms, to Earth observation, yeah, right. Weather probes, weather probes, yeah, science probes, Mars missions. She yeah. takes people to the people, ISS, exactly, the space yes. station. Yeah. There's the fairing jettison. You can see leaving exposed to the elements the two satellites. Those are the black boxes on the end. Now, why can we we can get rid of the fairing now because we don't need it anymore, right? Yeah, because now we are getting out of the the dense layers of the atmosphere, 